So, update 2.7 has finally dropped onto the live servers, and it includes a very interesting content drop that looks like it might give us some resolution to those cryptic tweets Funcom were posting recently. So, let's take a look. To start things off, update 2.7 ushers in Grave Matters, a limited time in-game event. In this event, you'll be able to find dark rituals occurring across the Exiled Lands and the Isle of Septar, with Skelos cultists summoning the undead. If you manage to stop the ritual in time, you may earn yourself some limited time unique rewards. This includes some new placeables, and maybe even the Skelos Cultist Master's armor set, which looks really quite nice. Grave Matters is the first limited time in-game event that I've been able to experience in Conan. I believe the last one was back in 2018, but none since then as far as I'm aware, and it's definitely an exciting one. It's worth noting that the event itself and the wording of the community post focus heavily on, of course, the magical side of this event. I made some predictions in my last video about the riddles that the notes were hinting at necromancy for update 3.0, and whilst it's obviously way more likely that they were instead hinting at this in-game event, I still think we're going to end up seeing necromancy in the game come update 3.0, and I think that is mainly because this event is so heavily geared towards that, I think this isn't the end of the Skelos cultists. If anything, I think this is going to be something of an indicator of what form magic will take within Conan Exiles. It's going to be less chugging mana potions and throwing fireballs, and more carefully planned rituals which definitely suits the Conan universe much better. Or perhaps maybe we'll be fighting to stop the necromancers from summoning the undead, maybe with some high-end, end-game boss content. Of course, we'll have to wait till update 3.0 to see what Funcom actually do with this concept. From the Grave Matters event, you'll be able to attain the Skelos Cultist Master's Armor Set, a medium set with a bonus to the survival skill. It's very nicely designed, and it keeps the core elements from the Skelos robes without being too out there, and I'd say the mask is probably my favourite part. You'll also get some new placeables in the Abandoned Table, the Forgotten Bookshelf, the decrepit round table and the questionable cauldron. All of these items are pretty nicely designed, and though it doesn't look like you can stack items onto the bookshelf, which is a slight downside for me, the new placeables are very nice, especially if you're going for a sort of a spooky build. Update 2.7 also includes a few changes that I mentioned in the previous test live patch video, but maybe a few weeks ago now, which have now of course made it to the live servers. Firstly, the new point of interest protection system is, in effect, and I presume it's set to be on by default on official servers, though that is not confirmed in this post. This is the first iteration of the system, and it will prevent obelisks in the Exiled Lands from being blocked by player structures. This is only the first step of this system, so in future passes, we can probably expect to see the system protecting things like dungeon and vault entrances, world chests, lore stones, boss locations, etc. Also, your roofs just got a lot more water resistant, as the change that stops rain indoors is now finally in effect. As long as you're indoors and you're counted as sheltered, no more rain. Alongside these two additions are quite a few more changes to the game that aim to fix a lot of smaller issues and inconsistencies. The Namidian set has been improved, updating its anti-climb, and also ensuring that the collision and snapping capabilities of the pieces are as intended. There are a number of exploit fixes, along with optimizations to mods and server logs, and also fixes for crashes and stability. There are numerous AI and thrall fixes to stop them getting stuck in their rocks, to ensure that weirdly named bags don't spawn in their inventory anymore, which is a glitch I've had a few times, and they've even managed to track down a few NPCs that didn't feel like showing up to their day job, and they will now spawn as normal. The Shield of the Grey Ones has received a fairly sizeable durability buff, whilst the amount of zeal attained from burning the flesh of Jebel Sag has been reduced. Alongside that, there are a few quality of life improvements, quite a few general bug fixes addressing visuals, desynced movement and connectivity issues, some terrain and environment fixes to adjust certain parts of Siptar, and to also make sure that you can't cheese Warmaker Dungeon or the Grey Ones pool anymore. And finally, of course, a decent amount of UI and text fixes. So that about covers all of the news for Update 2.7 and the Grave Matters event. Some pretty nice changes and fixes, along with a really interesting limited time event. Something, you know, fairly fresh for Conan, but something that I think the game definitely needs. I did a little run of one of the rituals yesterday, and they're reasonably difficult, but they're 
definitely entertaining content. It's not too heavy on mechanics and stuff like that, but it's definitely interesting. Now, before you do run ahead and stop those rituals, be sure to remember that the event runs from the 8th of December until the 10th of January. So you have got just over a month to hop into the Exiled Lands or the Isle of Siptar and put those pesky rituals to a stop. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe. Any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, CoffeeMan04 and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon.